Backstage on Raw, Todd Grisham is with Johnny Nitro and Melina both oozing confidence. With their usual Hollywood flair, they tease a big surprise for later in the show. Everybody's been wondering. Backstage, King Booker and Queen Charmel are in Mr. McMahon's office, waiting for his big announcement. Coach greets them and politely tells them to make themselves at home. Who's my office? You need any food? Please feel free. Quick exit. Booker, visibly annoyed. I don't speak in buttocks. As he calms down, he suddenly realizes his wallet is missing, quickly putting two and two together. Oh, hell no! What? I think I just got booked! At crime time, swiped it. You better call the police! What? They black ass is back in here! Don't it. It. As they all wait in anticipation, Vince McMahon himself arrives on the scene, visibly displeased. He notices the absence of John Cena and immediately turns his ire on Coach, scolding him for his failure to bring Cena to the announcement, making it clear- Find my announcement of great interest. Johnny Nitro and Melina make their way to the ring, boasting about having a special A-list friend who they claim is one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Is an A-lister! The A-lister turns out to be none other than Kevin Federline. Oh boy. He's an actor! He's a rapper! The crowd in LA is not impressed, greeting him with a chorus of boos. Federline tries to win them over. It's real good to be here! Actually, it ain't so good! Claiming he deserves more respect because he's featured in all the magazines they buy. He insults the crowd, calling them LA Superficial Poser. Melina backs him up, calling his comments profound and pushing for him to rap for the audience. However, Federline declines, teasing his upcoming album release on October 31st. Let's get the hell up on out of here. Till John Cena's music hits. Cena wastes no time. People know you is because your fame and fortune's built in. Fucking Federline. John Cena's street cred, and less talent than Paris Hilton. He challenges Nitro. You're with a dude who likes semen. But Nitro hesitates to make a move. You ain't got the nuts to hit me. After a few more insults, a Fed wasn't around, I'd be spearing Britney. Aimed at Federline and Britney Spears, Nitro finally steps up, but Cena makes quick work of him, tossing him out of the ring. Before Cena can get too comfortable, out comes the big show and King Booker with Queen Charmel, followed by Mr. McMahon himself. Vince hypes up the upcoming Cyber Sunday event. Just which one of these three will be the champion of champions? Revealing that fans will have the power to decide which championship will be on the line in the champion of champions match. Let's go, gentlemen. As the other competitors leave, Federline stays at ringside, prompting Cena to ask which title would you like to see defended? Yo, down this ring. That was the last straw for Cena, who responds by lifting Federline up and delivering in foo to the delight of the crowd. Backstage, Vince McMahon runs into Edge and Lita. Vince mentions that he has an exciting tag team match in mind for Cyber Sunday, DX versus the newly formed team of Edge and Randy Orton. Vince reveals that the fans will get to choose a special guest referee. Edge starts throwing out suggestions. That's very important. Will be the winner. Candice Michelle versus Maria Kanellis versus Victoria versus Tori Wilson. The match starts off fast as Candice Michelle charges at Maria Kanellis, while Victoria aggressively corners Tori Wilson. Maria is the first to lose a piece of clothing. Meanwhile, Tori manages to counter Victoria's assault, but Victoria quickly recovers and plants Tori with a strong wind-up side slam, stripping Tori of her top in the process. Candice then shifts her focus to Victoria, hitting a crisp arm drag trying to gain the upper hand. With Tori still recovering, together, they manage to yank off Victoria's bottoms. However, as Candace is distracted by taunting Victoria, Maria sneaks up behind Tori. Pulling off her bottoms, Maria, to everyone's surprise, stands tall as the last woman standing in the bra and division. Triple H with Shawn Michaels versus Randy Orton with Edge and Lita. Before the match begins, Triple H cuts a promo once again, taking shots at Randy Orton. He might have an alternative lifestyle. He is still about to get his ass kicked continuing their personal jacks. However, as Triple H gets momentarily distracted by Edge at ringside, Orton takes advantage, attacking him from behind to kickstart the action. Despite the sneak attack, Triple H quickly fires back with a series of clotheslines and tosses Orton outside the ring. As Orton stays down, clutching his knee, we head to a commercial break. Upon returning from the break, a vertical suplex is followed by the signature knee drop for a near fall. But Triple H's focus is broken again as Lita makes her way down the ramp. Orton uses the distraction to recover. Edge capitalizes with a vicious DDT on the floor while the referee is distracted. With the numbers game working in the heel's favor, Orton now takes command of the match. He delivers a neckbreaker for a close two count and continues to grind down Triple H with a power slam for another near fall. Orton rains down punches in the corner, but Triple H fires back, gaining momentum and winning the ensuing fistfight. Triple H connects with his signature high knee, but Orton manages to thumb him in the eye to regain control. But he's met with a face buster from Triple H. As Triple H signals for the pedigree, Edge jumps onto the apron, allowing Orton to hit his modified backbreaker for another close two count. Orton sets up for the RKO, stalking Triple H, 
but the game counters and hitting a thunderous spinebuster. Meanwhile, Lita distracts the referee. Shawn Michaels interjects. Chaos ensues. Lita, who tosses a chair into the ring. Shawn Michaels sneaks in a low blow to Orton, and Triple H follows up with a brutal chair shot. Triple H covers Orton, and the ref turns around just in time to count the 1, 2, 3. On ECW, after CM Punk's match with Rene Dupree, Punk is celebrating his win when Mike Knox hits the ring. Punk does a back down and immediately takes the fight to Knox. Punk calls him out, telling him to get back into the ring if he wants a real fight. But Knox backs off for now. Backstage, Rebecca DiPietro is with Rob Van Dam. And she brings up the significance of tonight's match against the big show, noting it's his first real shot at reclaiming the title that Since that controversial night. With intensity in his voice. Tonight is my one and only chance for a rematch and he's been waiting patiently for this opportunity. He started me back at the bottom, and I worked my way up. Reminding everyone that the fans love him. Because I'm the best at ECW. Because he's the best. RVD doesn't see the Big Show as unbeatable and believes he can take him down tonight. Big Show's gonna have to put that ECW world title up. Finishing with his signature. Rob Van Dam. Backstage, Rebecca DiPietro is with the Big Show. Show glances at her. Why aren't you just the cutest little thing? He focuses on his upcoming match and RVD, saying that RVD doesn't even realize how lucky he is tonight. RVD is stepping in the ring, the champion of champions. Promising that he'll prove why he's the most dominant giant in history. I threw Booker T around. I threw John Cena around. He sarcastically thanks Paul Heyman for giving RVD this opportunity, but reassures everyone he's not ducking anyone. Why are you ducking RVD? Why are you ducking RVD? Look, I don't duck anything. Show makes it clear. If RVD can beat him tonight, he'll earn a title shot. But with a menacing tone, Please duck me. Your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. Cut off. Stop here. See you good looking. The following contest is an I Quit match. Chavo Guerrero with Vicky Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio. Chavo starts aggressively, landing a series of right hands and a crisp European uppercut, setting the tone for the match. But Ray quickly counters with a crossbody off the second rope, sending Chavo reeling. Mysterio takes control, hammering away on Chavo in the corner as the crowd erupt. He manages to dump Chavo to the outside with a head scissors, following it up with a breathtaking somersault plancha. The fight spills to the outside and then whips him into the steel steps. Despite the punishment, Chavo refuses to quit. Ray, determined to make Chavo give in, shoves his head into the steel steps repeatedly, but still, Chavo won't quit. Mysterio then whips Chavo into the steel post before grabbing a steel chair and re-entering the ring. He unloads on Chavo with a vicious chair shot to the gut, followed by a brutal strike to the back. But once again, Chavo refuses to say the words. Ray ramps up the assault, cornering Chavo and delivering a devastating chair-assisted dropkick to his face. With the crowd buzzing, Ray lands a thunderous chair shot to Chavo's head, setting up the 6-1-9. As Ray climbs to the top rope for a finishing move, Vicky Guerrero grabs his leg, providing just enough distraction for Chavo to toss a chair into Ray's head, stunning him. Seizing the opportunity, Chavo shifts his focus to Ray's knee, targeting it with brutal kicks. He slams the chair down onto Ray's knee, torturing him. Chavo locks in a half Boston Crab, applying more pressure on Ray's injured leg. Another vicious chair shot to the knee follows, and Chavo sets up a brutal pulmonization of Ray's leg. Chavo ascends the ropes and crashes down with a frog splash onto the chair. Chavo dumps Ray outside the ring and continues to punish the leg, mercilessly attacking it with chair shots. Chavo teases a suplex off the stage, but Ray reverses it, sending Chavo flying. Ray presses on, knocking Chavo off the stage and leaping down with a seated sentinel, despite his injured knee. The fight continues near the stage. He applies a cross face, but Chavo still refuses to quit. Ray, furious, grabs a chair and whacks Chavo with a sickening shot to the back, following up by choking him with a chair. The two brawl back and forth, but Chavo manages to regain control, whipping Ray into a stack of steel cases and attempting to crush Ray's knee between them. Chavo, sensing victory, pulls Ray down into a tree of woe position on the steel lighting structure and grabs the chair. He delivers four savage chair shots to Ray's already damaged knee, and finally, Mysterio, unable to take any more, I, I quit! I quit! You're kidding! Screams, I quit. The match ends with Ray being stretchered out as Chavo, satisfied with his brutal work, waves him goodbye, marking the end of their vicious rivalry. Coming up next, it is a Diva Dance Off. This is annoying. Diva Dance Off. Crystal vs. Jillian vs. Michelle McCool vs. Layla vs. Ashley. The Miz kicks things off by introducing two special guest judges, Nick and Aaron Carter. The Miz tries to impress the Carters. The Carters add fuel to the fire by referencing Miz's embarrassing segment from No Mercy. There's no hard feelings. How about we hug it out? The competition begins, and Crystal is up first. Uh, uh, oh. Nick, me, that 
putting on a seductive dance with the miss, trying to sway the judges. Jillian steps up next and strips off her top, revealing a bizarre Xena-inspired outfit with cone-shaped bra cups. Showing off her moves with confidence. Finally, Ashley wraps things up. But her routine is lackluster until she surprises everyone by taking off her top. Winner, Crystal. But hold on, there's controversy, leaving the fans with a memorable mess. The Carters, grinning, leave with Layla as the commotion continues behind them. King Booker with Queen Charmel versus Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. The match begins with a lockup, and Batista quickly overpowers King Booker, shoving him into the corner. They reset with another lockup, but this time, Booker gets the upper hand. Booker tries to build momentum by whipping Batista into the ropes, but he runs straight into Batista. The two lock up a third time, with Batista winning this round. Batista is whipped into the ropes, but he rebounds and knocks Booker down again. In the corner, Batista lays in several elbows and a big shoulder thrust, but Booker rakes his eyes, turning the tide. Booker takes control, pounding on Batista in another corner. He goes for a sidekick, but Batista dodges, clotheslining Booker out of the ring. As Batista tries to bring Booker back into the ring, Finley runs down and ambushes him from behind. Booker seizes the opportunity and hits a book end, but it only gets a two and a half count. Booker stays on the attack, landing a sidekick for another two count. On the apron, Booker lays into Batista with forearms across the chest, then connects with a scissor kick. Back in the ring, he follows up with a super kick for another close near fall. Booker applies a key lock, trying to wear down Batista. But Batista powers out of the hold, breaking free and clotheslining Booker. Another clothesline sets up a corner splash, followed by a big power slam. Just when Batista starts to build momentum, Booker rakes the eyes again but gets caught running into a spine buster for a two, sensing trouble in the ring. Batista hits another spear on Booker and follows it up with a massive jackhammer. But before Batista can secure the pin, the Big Show rushes into the ring and takes him out. Suddenly, John Cena levels both King Booker and the Big Show. Batista recovers, and he and Cena team up to clear the ring of their foes. The crowd erupts as, just then, SmackDown GM Teddy Long appears on the stage and makes it official. Next week, it's John Cena and Batista vs. King Booker and the Big Show. Rankings and recap for the latest episode. Raw. 5 points. Booker T and Queen Charmel confront John Cena and The Big Show, a strong opening segment, setting up high-stakes rivalries and creating a dramatic clash between brands. William Regal, Finley and Chavo Guerrero with Vicky Guerrero vs. Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio and Batista, a standout six-man tag team match, showcasing top stars from SmackDown and building anticipation for future confrontations. The fabulous Moolah and Mae Young appearance, a nostalgic moment that brought legends into the mix, providing a great pop for longtime fans. Tori Wilson vs. Molina, Women's Championship Tournament, Lumberjill Match. Adding depth to the Women's Championship Tournament with a Lumberjill stipulation, Tori and Molina gave a memorable bout with intense crowd support. Tori Wilson attacks Crystal. Post match attack adds more drama to the tournament, with personal rivalries becoming a key story element. Booker T with Queen Charmel vs. Rob Van Dam. A solid match that gives the Raw audience a showcase Booker T's and RVD's skill and furthered his rivalry with RVD. Edge, Lita, and Randy Orton form rated RKO. The formation of Rated RKO marks a powerful new alliance, making Raw feel like the top place for faction warfare. ECW, three points. ECW Extreme Strip Poker, a controversial but highly talked about segment, captivating the ECW audience and fitting the show's edgy persona. Tommy Dreamer vs. Kevin Thorne with Ariel. Dreamer and Thorne deliver a physical bout, with Ariel adding an extra element of intrigue to Thorne's persona. SmackDown, one point. Booker T and Queen Charmel talk to Teddy Long, building tension between Booker T and SmackDown's GM. This segment hints at future power struggles. Chavo Guerrero and Vicky Guerrero watch Rey Mysterio vs. Jamie Noble. Vicky and Chavo's presence adds depth to Rey's match, advancing their family rivalry. Chavo Guerrero and Vicky Guerrero challenge Rey Mysterio to a loser leaves match. High stakes challenge from Chavo to Rey, escalating their feud to a make or break level. Paul London, Brian Kendrick, and Jimmy Wong Yong with Ashley vs. Casey James, Idol Stevens, and Sylvan with Michelle McCool a fast-paced six-man tag that showcases SmackDown's tag division. Booker T and Queen Charmel watch Batista vs. Bobby Lashley vs. Finley. Current standings. Raw. 88 points. SmackDown. 45 points. ECW. 34 points.